Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign Dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's Wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. Who doesn't? If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no king. Endrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The Assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. The Wardens killed King Caelan and nearly doomed Ferelden! They're sworn enemies of King Loghain! Well, that is the Royal Seal. That means only the Assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a traitor? And a foreigner? In the name of King Loghain, I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden! You... you'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. It is the Assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or, as now, when someone tries using the Assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his final hours, when the usurper Harrowman was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew! Handlers, separate these dashers in the Diamond Quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. Not speak that way about the man who should be king! Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the service trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Deshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace! Enough! The Assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Stone-forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the Assembly of the Clans. Only Deshers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. Forgive me. I am so exhausted, I completely forgot about the message from the Gate Guard. Welcome to Orzammar, Warden. I hope you can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great, but you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. Dulin Verender, Harriman's man, can be found at the Harriment Estate. Varteg Gavorn, Prince Balin's second, is often here in the assembly. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Warden, welcome. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. I am Varteg Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? Ah, ancient documents indeed. These were signed in the reign of Eithnar Bimo, Paragon and King. That was 16 generations ago. Now, the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those right now. You must understand, Haramont hides behind his good reputation while sending spies and assassins. Balin can't know who to trust. It's been like a knife in the heart for Balin to see so many of his father's men stand with the usurper. 
That hurts worst of all. That Haramont would take advantage of the Dying King's delirium to plant such poisonous suspicions against his own son. After that, you understand why Balin cannot trust the word of a stranger. However reputable that stranger might be. Haramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception, I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Don't expect this offer to last. If my prince hears you swore allegiance to his enemy, he won't be so friendly next time. I will be here if you change your mind. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. I am Doolin Forender, second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. In an ordinary time, Lord Haramont would be honored to meet you. Unfortunately, we've already caught more than one of Balin's spies approaching Haramont under a pretense of friendship. So I'm afraid I won't be able to take your word. If you want to speak to Haramont, you will need to prove he can trust you. You're asking the King of Orzammar to send armies to the surface, but Orzammar has no king and we have no army. Right now. The men who should be fighting Darkspawn are brawling in the street. If this situation is not resolved, we face civil war. If you want Lord Harrowmont's time now, you'll have to prove you have no intention of turning against him later. If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harrowmont's name. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously, and unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. It would certainly make your loyalties loud and clear. <laughs> and this is to be your king, one who cannot keep his own men from running like frightened children. Lord Harrowmont does not use threats or intimidation to motivate his men. He leads by example. Ah, I see. So, it's his example they follow as they cower from this Prince Balin. How dare you slander Lord Harrowmont? Why should we ally ourselves with someone too scared even to grant us an audience? Were I you, I would seek a stronger king than this Harrowmont. Surely you don't mean Balin. Then you and I have nothing more to say. I hope you're not wasting my time with more dithering. The choice I gave you was clear. If you want Balin to support you in your surface war, you'll have to help him take the throne. I've acquired evidence Haramont is using the same piece of land to bribe both Lady Dace and Lord Helmy to vote in his favor. I have the promissory notes right here. Just take them to Lady Dace and Lord Helmy and show them Haramont is not as honest as he claims. Lady Dace doesn't leave the quarter much, but Lord Helmy's adventurous, likes to spend his time at Tapster's in the Commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? Not that I could really help. I, um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. Not exactly, but... I'm looking for any birth records from the old Orton Taig. It fell in the last blight, and my mother's family claims to be related. If I'm an Orton, it means I'm noble. I'd have my own house, a seat in the assembly. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. A Grey Warden? Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrowmont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. 
I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Your presence here has been recorded in the memories. I wish I knew what significance it has. What do you want? Ah, oh, I suppose you're the Grey Warden everyone's talking about. It's fascinating the surface has an entire order dedicated to fighting Darkspawn. Down here, that's just what fighting means. But I'm sure it's more difficult on the surface. It must be much harder to find them. Well, this isn't exactly a surface broadsheet. Where did you get these? Never mind. It is true enough, but there's nothing I can do about it. This deal was made on behalf of our entire house. Only my father can revoke it. I cannot. Not for weeks. He is leading a Deep Roads expedition, trying to secure an ancient Taig. It's unlikely he'll be back before the election, but perhaps this vote is important enough for you to brave the tunnels to tell him? The Dace family would be in your debt. Thank you. He was searching an old Iduken site. He left me with this map, in case his expedition never returned. I'll give you a pass as well. Usually, no one is allowed past the front lines. Good luck. What's this? A human? Did we make these tunnels tall enough for humans? I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrols scheduled to leave today. I see you have his daughter's seal, so I will not stop you. But be careful. Just because the beasts have pulled back from Ozamar doesn't mean there are any fewer in the Deep Roads. Either we finally have the edge, which I doubt, or the beasts are building up numbers for the next attack. The surface? But I thought the vermin never went up that far except it. Except during blights. Ancestors save us if that's what's happening. Best of luck. You pulled us from a tight spot, friend. You have my gratitude. I am Lord Anwar Dace. So what's a human doing out here anyway? I don't understand. What could... These are the terms of a deal we made with Lord Harriman, but... The charlatan. He's promised the exact same land to hell me. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I owe you twice now. My life and my house's fortune. Ah yes, a favor for a favor. My family is very influential with some of the surface merchants. If you attend any of their stores, you'll find them quite obliging to any friend of the Daces. I must return now. My men need healing and I want to look into this. You wish to travel with us? And let us reach Orzammar before more beasts find our scent. You look like you're not from around here. Oh, wonderful! I've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world. I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the Circle? Then I'm truly honored. I've never met an actual mage. Is it true you can manipulate nature's forces with your mind? Like you were born with lyrium in your veins? I can't even imagine. I've been trying to reach someone there for years. I've sent missives with every caravan, but I never get a reply. I want to know if they would accept me for study. That would be wonderful. My name is Dagna, daughter of Janar of the Smithcast. Tell them I've already begun reading the Taventer Imperiums for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? <gasps> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. You went above and beyond the call of duty for the Circle. You have done us proud. Ozama, indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic. 
no matter how hard she tries. Fascinating. <laughs> I suppose the circle should be flattered. I see. If she is willing to sacrifice so much for this, then we should feel honored. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, then she is welcome here at the circle. She will live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices, when it is appropriate. Ah, if only the circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. This will be interesting. <laughs> She could tell us much about our dwarven neighbors. Yes, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. I wish you well. No, you will always be welcome here. Hello, how can I... Oh, it's you! And it's been, well, quite a while. Enough time to get to the circle and back, I hope. Oh, please tell me what they said. Ancestors, bless you! I can't believe it! There hasn't even been a dwarven observer in the circle since Yerelden in the 13th century! Uh, I, I, I need to pack. No, my parents would get suspicious. I need to go! Is there anything I should bring? Books? Tuition? Then I should go before my parents come looking for me. If you ever go to the circle again, maybe I'll see you there. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Point. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? You get out of here. This is private business. Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carta's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Whoa, whoa! All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford, I assure you. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the Ancestors? Although... I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only Smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. How? There is no way except to brave the deep roads yourself. A warden? So you could do it. Only wardens face the deep roads without a company backing them. Oh, thank you. The ancestors finally heed my prayers. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. We could search the deep roads for decades with no sight of the boy. Please, find me as soon as you return. H have you a coin to spare, milady? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. A question I ask every day. He was eager enough for a daughter who would bring him into the mining cast. 
since the boy was born? I've not seen Nose or Heal of the Lout. And me alone on the street, forbidden to return to my family unless I... But no, I can't bear to even think of it. My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining cast family. We weren't wealthy, but I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone, and it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. My son's father is castless, as is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Y you would do that? But why? Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapster's in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. What are you looking at, stranger? I have no daughter. Could be you met a castless whore claiming she was once mine. What? You think she died just to keep that thing? She knows what she has to do to come home. I never wanted her gone. Just the little cur. Can't she see she'd have a better life if she got rid of it? I've been trying. It's not as easy as I thought. Look, just tell her... We never meant to hurt her. It just seemed best that... Oh, just tell her to come home. Her mother and I are waiting for her. Lord Denik Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? But there are those like you who see this with concern, no? Well, I've taken the time to actually talk to the other casts. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Orzammar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Oh, well, I'd ask for proof, or why you care, but frankly, I'm so tired of it I'm not even surprised anymore. I don't even want the land, but my house would kill me if I turned it down. Responsibilities, you know. Now I'll have to go through the whole process of rejecting the deal. And we'll both have to try something else. And I thought it was going to be a nice day. You're just doing what you think is right. I'll have to inform Mother that Lord Harrowmont hasn't bought our vote after all. You're back. I thought you weren't coming. What did he say? Both of us? I don't believe he said that. I've never heard him refer to my son as anything but trash. He calls him it. But maybe. Maybe Mother convinced him. Or you did. Oh, my friend. I cannot thank you enough. If this were a story, my son would grow to manhood and pledge himself as a knight in your service. When he grows up, I will send him to you. I promise. Lady Dace just came through the quarter on a tear. She's telling everyone who'll listen what a leech and a liar Haramont is. Good job. So you were serious about wanting to help us. Are you ready to meet Balin now? I warn you, be on your best behavior and keep your weapons sheathed. I am impressed, Warden. Not many outsiders so quickly grasp Orzammar's rather... convoluted politics. I am Prince Balin. Fartag told me of your efforts against the usurper who tried to claim my father's throne. Then we have a common goal. We may not like each other, but the Blight is our first priority. We need absolute unity to fight against the fulcrum of true evil. Unfortunately, while this debate rages, I have no power to send the troops you need. You've seen for yourself, the city is a slaughterhouse. Criminals run lawless. I could never hold the throne if I allowed such chaos. 
You have struck a blow against Haramont already, and I thank you for that. But there is another faction in play here. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia and the Carta of Criminals she runs? They know Orzammar is divided now and has no time for them. It's made them bold. If I show the city I can eliminate such a threat, well, let's just say my position would be stronger. I'd never ask for such a thing, but if you do eliminate Jarvia and her thugs, you would have my gratitude. And my promise that as king I will send as many troops as you need to fight the Darkspawn. Unfortunately, I have little information on Jarvia. Her base of power is in Dust Town, the lowest part of the city, and my men have few sources there. Maybe the Castless will talk more freely with a stranger. That's all I can ask, but I can be of no help until this problem is solved. And every minute we wait, more Darkspawn swarm into human lands. Please be quiet. My patient needs a rest. Fools and their politics. The poison was probably imported as a king killer, and she got dosed by mistake. I've never seen anything this potent. What and I don't know. Maybe you've seen something like this on the surface. Maybe you've used something like it. If you can chase these things down, I'll thank you. But I won't get my hopes up. The stone will take her soon. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. What are you looking for? Know it? I lived it, my friend. And let me tell you, it's worse now than in my day. Jarvia took over the Carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Won't be easy. She's gotten real careful since Barat died. Real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. Can't help you there, Selraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. Now, how about that coin you promised? I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. Well, look what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. Not do it! Oh, sorry, ancestors! What do they teach you on the surface? You fight like a bleeding archdemon. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all! The base is below the city. You... Uh, you can get to it through the wall of the third house on this row. Put this token through the slot, and it'll open. Well, uh, will you let me go now? Really? Oh, thank you. You're a, a good person. How do they say it? The ancestors have shown their favor. Bless you. What's the password? Looks like we have a martyr, boys. So Balin finally realized his throne means nothing if he can hold it, yet he still doesn't bother to send his own men. Well, you picked the wrong side, stranger. It doesn't matter who's king, as long as there's a queen. Hardly convincing when your blades are covered in my men's blood. Kill them! But leave the pretty one alive. I have plans for her. God! By all the beards of my ancestors! How did you... Where did you come from? You, you made a hole in my wall! No! I don't have anything to do with them! They're criminals! When they built this part of the city, they must have built over some tunnels! I swear, I had no idea! Oh, just leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with this. And if anyone comes asking, I'm gonna tell him you did it! Well, you've simply outdone yourself. They're talking all over the city about how someone finally went through Dust Town and slaughtered the Carta like Genlocks.
Not yet. Killing Jarvia brought me greater favor. But to truly displace Harrowmont, we'll need something dramatic enough to end the debate forever. What do you know of the Paragon Bronca? She is a Paragon, a girl of the Smith caste who rose to nobility for her brilliant inventions. Two years ago, she heard of something the Ancients created. It inspired her to leave everything behind, and venture into the Deep Roads. She is the only Paragon in four generations, and she turned her back on her responsibilities. A Paragon is like an ancestor born in this time. If she returned, her vote would outweigh the entire assembly. Anyone with her support could take the throne unchallenged. I hope you will bring her back to endorse me as king. I was hoping you could use your legendary charm to persuade her that the rightful king should take the throne. However, if the Deep Roads have addled her wits, it might be best she not return before the kingship is decided. She had an entire house with her, dedicated to her protection. With the number of ruins still intact, they could last for a long time. And Harrowmont is looking as well. It's too risky to assume she's dead only to have him take credit for finding her. I did not know her personally. Two years ago, I was still considered a child. Not one to consort with Orzammar's finest. From what I hear, her intellect was unrivaled. But the social graces were beneath the notice of one so gifted. Then we will both go down in history as a Paragon's saviors. So far, my men have traced Branca to Caradon's Cross, an ancient crossroad lost to the Darkspawn four centuries ago. Her trail ends there. Perhaps with your Warden's expertise, you can find what my men could not. You must enter the deep roads through the mines. To protect the city, that's the only path we leave open. Caradon's Cross lies many miles deep into the tunnels. It was once a main thoroughfare, but before Branca, no one had stepped foot there in generations. You have my thanks. Seek her in Caradon's Cross. I will try to delay the vote until you return. Stranger, have you seen a Grey Warden hereabouts? I hear tell that he, or was that she, you understand this was several flagons ago, <laughs> was setting out to search for Bronca on the Prince's own orders. Stout and muscular, fair of face, but with a strong jaw and a bold nose, surrounded by a great glowing nimbus. If she's a woman, she might be more slight, but her eyes will shine with the light of purity and her large but chaste bosom will heave magnificently. I've been looking for hours, but I haven't seen anyone who looks like that. Very frustrating. Seriously? You're the Warden? <laughs> I mean, the Grey Warden? <laughs> well, if you're the best they got, then standards must have fallen way down. But I suppose that would account for a human in Orzammar. Say, could I ask you a favor? Name's Ogren. And if you've ever heard of me before, it's probably all been about how I piss ale and kill little boys who look at me wrong. <laughs> and that's mostly true. But the part they never say is how I'm the only one still trying to save our only Paragon. And if you're looking for Branca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for. Which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. Believe me, I have. But where she was going, it's a lost tag. No one's seen it in centuries. I searched as far as I could, but it would take teams of warriors searching weeks on end to cover enough ground to hope to find it. Which I assume is exactly what Balin scouts have done, and they give the fruits of their labor to you. But they haven't found Bronca herself, and that means whatever they've got, it's not enough if you don't know what she was looking for. 
If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. You should know that Bronca was looking for the Anvil of the Void. The secret to building golems, which was lost centuries ago. The smith Caradin built it, and with it Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she knew was that it was past Caradin's cross. No one's seen that tag for five hundred years. Why? We were sodding married until she left me and took our whole house into the deep roads on her mad quest for the anvil. It was a stupid move. If I'd been with her, she'd have made it back years ago. But I forgive her. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Keratin's Cross. I can't believe Balin actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old Empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Taig. No one but Keratin ever really knew more than it had some kind of stone-blessed power. Every golem who ever ranged across the Empire was hammered on the steel of that anvil. But no one ever knew exactly how they were made. But Bronco was sure she could find out. Aye. Bronco dug up some maps of the ancient Empire. It's a little tough to tell with so much of it collapsed now. But near as I can figure, we're on the right path to Orton Taig. It's the home of Keradin, the paragon who made the anvil. He was an Orton before he founded his own house, and even then, he spent most of his time in their Taig. Ranka figured it was the best guess for where the anvil was located. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. But the true abomination is not that it occurred, but that it was allowed. Branca, my love, the stone has punished me, dream friend. I am dying of something worse than death. Betrayal. What was that? Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Well, 
shave my back and call me an elf. Bronca, by the stone, I barely recognized you. Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogryn's ale breath? Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Endrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. Then what is your involvement in this? Why would a surfacer be interested in Dwarven politics? You must have a patron. A highly placed patron. And they must want something in particular. Now, what might that be? I don't care if the Assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void. The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keradin himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the Dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything, and would sacrifice anything to get the Anvil of the Void. Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the Anvil. There's only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Keridan's maze, and out to where the Anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? Ah, it has been so long. I made you into the golem you are now, Shale, but before that you were a dwarf, just as I was. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only woman to volunteer. The only woman? A dwarf? I laid you on the anvil of the Void, here in this very room, and put you into the form you now possess. The Anvil of the Void. That is what we seek. If you seek the Anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status based on a single item. The Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone, as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. The Darkspawn were pressing in. Originally, I only took volunteers, the bravest of souls, willing to trade their very lives for the chance to defend their homeland. But King Valtor became greedy. 
He began to force men, castless and criminals, his political enemies, all of them were to be given to the anvil. It took feeling the hammer's blow myself to realize the height of my crime. Not revenge. The blow of the hammer opened my eyes. My apprentices knew enough to make me as I am, but not enough to fashion a control rod. I retained my mind. You were amongst the most loyal, Shea. You remained at my side throughout, and at the end, I sent you away out of mercy. I do not remember. We have remained entombed here ever since, and I have sought a way to destroy the anvil. Alas, I cannot do it myself. No golem can touch it. No! The anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shale, you fought to destroy the anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! Speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You, please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. Your people on the surface believe that some magics are never worth the price of their use. Can you not see this is one of them? Why are you listening? We had an agreement. I'm the one you came here to find, not him. Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The Anvil will let us take back our glory! No! I cannot allow you to do this! To me, Gollums! Defend the Anvil, whatever the cost! I cannot be party to this. Caradon, I am yours to command. Here it is! The Anvil of the Void! So sweet! Such power! You found the anvil. Are you happy now? Maybe we could go back to Orzammar, share the good news. Look at it. It was worth it. All of it. The anvil is everything I thought it would be. I... I should have known. I thought that once you had the anvil, you'd be satisfied. Perhaps I could use it now. A reward for defeating Caradon. You wanted a crown, no? Or have you set your sights higher than the petty kings of Orzammar? Then stand aside and I shall forge it for you. Take it to whomever you please. lump of hot metal to go over a couple of empty heads. Now leave. It will take me some time to fully realize the mysteries here. Once Orzammar settles on its petty king, have him send for me. When next you lead your armies against the Archdemon, they will be shielded by a tide of steel men! I hope this makes you happy, Branca. I don't think you understand what it costs to get you here. Oh, stuff a rag in it, Ogren. Move on. Find a few whores. 
Sodding stone, I never thought you'd be the pining type. Now be gone! I guess you both got what you wanted. Hope it was worth the cost. We should get back to the city now. Share the news. Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order! This argument gets us nowhere. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now! My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Steward, but the Grey Warden has returned. Well, Warden, what news do you bring? Bronca still lives, though she's mad as a nug at a tanner shop. <laughs> she finally found the Anvil of the Void, and chose to stay in the deep to work it. She tasked this Grey Warden to give her crown to Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors as a first in a millennium to lead a Gollum army against a Blight. I would like to believe Argren's word, but it's well known the Grey Warden is Balin's hireling. Silence! Then tell us, Grey Warden, which king did Paragon Bronca endorse? At last, this farce has ended, and I can take my rightful place on my father's throne. Let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Osmar. Do you acknowledge me as king? I cannot defy a paragon. The throne is yours, King Balin. Then as my first act as king, I call for this man's execution. Guards, seize him! I will return to my palace to gather my generals, and prepare our forces for the surface. I will see you there, Warden. You have my gratitude for all you have done for me. You have proven yourself and more, Warden. Without your aid, I would not have taken this throne so smoothly or so soon. His name need not pass your lips again. I have already sent a mission to Branca. I'm certain by the time you call for us, I can send you a vanguard of golems for your army. Since you did more than I expected, I offer a personal reward as well. This was a maul favored by my brother Trian. Take it with you, as a reminder of your ties to Orzammar. Now, I have much to do. If there is nothing else... As it was meant. Now, I must address my other petitioners. Come back and visit sometime. If I'd heard it secondhand, I'd have called it a sodding lie. Warden, we've got a king because of you. The rest, impressive. But the Legion is grateful most for restored leadership. It frees us to fight to the Darkspawn properly. Nay, our place is down here. When you break the Blight, and you've got the skill, we'll make sure they have nowhere to retreat. You'll have us indirectly. That's more than any surfacer can say. You alone have the skill to back up your words. 
Each of the Legion owes our homeland a death, but if our lives are better shed on the surface, so be it. Back to Orzammar when we win, though. I'll not stay topside to lose my stone sense. Most impressive, Warden. King Balin's ascent to his father's throne has been recorded in the memories. Is there something more I can help you with? What's this? A list of names. Most of these clans no longer even exist. Is this authentic? You bet your hairy arse it is. Taken from a tablet in Keridan's fortress, no less. Then is it true? The rumors of Keridan's so-called volunteers? Extraordinary! I would love to make a copy of this. The Shaperit has never had much information on Keridan and his golems, much less proof of this magnitude. Warden, I hope this artifact from our archives will suffice as a reward. I must inform the Shaperit at once. I... I started to worry. I didn't know if you were ever coming back. Did you find any records? Any sign of the old Orton Taig? You... you found them? Let me see. That's my great-grandmother's name. And her husband! Oh, great ancestors! It's them! It's me! I am an Orton. Oh, thank you. I have to take these to the assembly right away. Find me there. Once these are acknowledged, I'll give you any reward. My name's Orta. After the old Orton house, they gave our seat back. And the records show which houses still owe House Orton money. One day, I will be able to properly thank you for all you've done for me. And I don't know what treasure is left, but whatever I get, you can have as much as you want. I'll have to find someone willing to look. Maybe a whole expedition. If the Taig is still there, it must have something. House Orton will not forget this kindness. <laughs> Didn't that sound official? You've returned. With all the excitement over the new king, I never expected you to remember my poor son. Did you learn anything about my ruck? What is it? Is he dead? Oh, please don't torment me. Crazy. Oh, ancestors, save him. I've heard of this. Lost soldiers turning on each other, eating darkspawn flesh. Is that what happened to my boy? Why didn't you bring him home? No. There must be a way. If he lives, there's hope. I have to go to him. He needs me. Oh, he must be so frightened out there, so lonely. I thank you for what you've done. Even if you couldn't be bothered with more. Take this. It's my husband's masterwork. The first shield he smithed. I was saving it for Ruck, but I want you to have it. As my thanks. <laughs>